tubers, what's going on? It's freezing out. I'll tell you, that's what's going on. It's friggin' sack cold. But, uh, we're in the house now, and I got the, uh, Harbor Freight 2, uh, brochure thingy. So, you know what that means. You know what that means. Oh, no. January blowout sale. Three days only. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Get your stuff at Harbor Freight. So, this is what I did today. Uh-oh. You dizzy went to Harbor Freight. And went to... Where else did I go? Hey, Maid, where else did I go? AutoZone. Oh, I'll beg my pardon. AutoZone. Or Dance Auto. One of them. See a cute maid. Hi. Hi. Oh, sorry, the sun's in the way. I can't see your face that well. Oh, oh wait. Right. Oh, yeah, I can. Wait. Yeah. Hey. Oh, oh, baby, my pride. <laughs> so what I got going on here is, uh, oh, I'm not going to show you this yet. But uh, I got uh, some purple power uh, degreaser and stuff uh, to clean the engines and whatever else down the shop. I got some oil, some good stuff um, to put in the engines. I got some uh, carbon choke cleaner jet spray, a big, big bad one. It's got a, it's a 16 fluid ounce. I don't know if you can see it. And I got some chrome polish. Got to get the turtle chrome polish to chrome up those uh, sirens and stuff. And I got some brake cleaner, AutoZone style. Frigga sack, and I needed some of these uh, clamps for the gas line um, on the snowblower. But then I came across these kinds. Oh, look at these kinds. These are pretty cool kinds. The key type hose clamps. So, Frigga sack, it's got 26 different kinds in here. Well, 26 individual ones, not 26 different kinds, but pretty cool. So, that's what I did there today, and then I grabbed this for the fire bike. Look at that. The mer there's the pump to pump the water. So let me open that, and I'll show you up close and personal. All right, so here we have it. It's a uh, 200 gallons per hour, 200 gallons an hour pump, um, compact, self-priming not for use with flammable liquids. It's stainless steel, housing, blase, blase, blah. It's from Pacific Hydrostar. So this is what we have here. I tried to get an all chrome one, but they didn't have one. So it's got a chrome handle on the top. It's got a couple chrome pieces in the front. You know, looks nice. And these are uh, just the two ends that you screw the hose on. Uh, bolt ends right here, and that's that. I can mount this any way I want on the tank, like maybe on the side of it, like this, or the front of it, or on the top of it, or whatever, whatever. And then you just clip it to the 12 volt battery, and you're good to go. So there's our fire, fire uh, bike water pump. So friggin' sack. At least I got something going on on the fire bike, eh? <laughs> So, I got some stuff to play in the garage with, or not the garage, but the shop. So, uh, maybe we'll take this stuff down there and get to something today. So, figure that. High core. That shit's high core. High core! Alright, this is outside my house here. Frigo sack. Holy crap, it's cold out here. You're gonna get about two or three of these. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, tubers, you know what this is? Especially uh, Cape Cod Underground. He knows what this is. It's the calm before the storm. So, you know, you Dizzy's always on top of shit. Because he's a friggin' sack. And uh, I brought the snowblower in. Again, I'm going to change the oil. I've ran it twice uh, since uh, I got it. And I'm just going to change the oil because that's the kind of guy I am. And I'm going to lube everything up and uh, maybe clean the rims. And, uh, oh, I got some of these. Some of, the, whoop, some of these clamps here. And I'm going to put those on, on the gas line. I bought those kind, but then I seen these and I had to get these kind too. For a sec. So I'm going to put those on the uh, gas line so it'll stop dripping because it doesn't seem like those stupid original clampy ones seem want to work anymore so I'm gonna do that and then we'll be uh, pretty much set for the uh, for the storm give her a little cleaning up she's nice and clean but I always like to wipe it down keep it looking new and nice friggo sack and I was going to actually take this apart and put those rubbers on the end of this so it would fill up the gap. But I'll tell you right now, on this one right here, there's no gap. There's like just barely a gap but with that inside auger there. So this thing throws snow like you wouldn't believe. I love it. Alright. So, I'm going to get started with this. All right, so I'm gonna get started here with draining the oil. Yeah. Open up this cap. Throw this thing on here. Now, make sure this sits on there tight. Swing that around underneath there. And then, First things first, I need my coat off and, and some rubber gloves. I don't want to get a mess. And Tighten it up around my little stumps. Let that drain out, and then we'll uh, put new oil on her. Freaking right. Well, that did that. I changed the oil. I put some new oil in her. Uh, some of the new, uh, that earl up there. Oh, wait a minute, let me move some stuff out of the way. Yeah, some 530. I lubed up with the uh, four times the lube, all the uh, 
clamps and pulleys and anything on there that I seen. I'll take you out there to see what I did. See, I got them both right here. Boom, boom. All ready and raring to go. Keys in them. Boom, boom. Black on a red one. Oh, orange. Orange motor, red Toro. So, the oil's changed. I lubed up the axle. I, gr I lubed up all these. Um, I lubed up this here. You know, all those. Just made sure everything was clean and nice. Made sure nothing leaks. It doesn't stink no more. And, uh, we ready to go. So, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a little messy. Oil, oil always is messy. So now maybe I can, uh, get back in the shop here and get some real work done. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Some real work. <laughs> yeah. So what I got left on this motor here is I got to take this cover back off and I got to get the uh, put the gasket on and then reseal it up. Then I got to fill it up with oil. Then I got to uh, put the carburetor on it. Find some sort of muffler and then that's ready to go. So that's all on that one. And then this one here is pretty much uh, pretty much done. Pretty much done. Some linkage. I mean, I could probably do without it, but it's in the mail, so freaking right. So, comment, like, subscribe. Sorry, I just hit my head on my fan. Comment, like, subscribe. Check out the links below. Get you Desi swag. And, uh, teach it.